Mark Ash Brownlee, mother. I can't see. I can't see. Dan, I can't see. Yes. I can't see. This isn't Daredevil, bitch. This is real life. Welcome to Thursdays with Harrison. That was cute, wasn't it? Mark Ash Brownlee, the man who reviews tech companies and sends them down quicker than the Titanic when it gets into iceberg territory. I said it, baby. This man is as crazy as I am cool. Not sure what that was. But anyway, let's look at Mark Ash Brownlee. He's such a nice face. He's, you know, got millions and millions and millions. He gets sponsorships out the wazoo do. He's actually an Ultimate Frisbee player. Did you know that? Now, I didn't know what Ultimate Frisbee was. And then I actually reminded myself, I played this in high school. I remember my music teacher. I was a musician. Uh, I played the drums. And uh, he dragged me down. And it was actually good fun. And I, took, I learned how to play... <laughs> throw frisbee basically if you point your finger after it basically goes there i was shocked it's like science bro or probably closer to magic to be fair but why am i talking about mark s brownlee youtuber mark s brownlee is getting cancelled for trying to sell a 50 per year subscription for a wallpaper app so if you don't know what a wallpaper app is it's an app where you get wallpapers genius one thing, you know, about wallpapers are, they're usually free. You know, you can go on the internet, you find website after website, you can find Twitter accounts these days with high quality wallpapers. There's so many ways of getting a cool wallpaper. Or, if you're feeling a bit weird, you can put a nice picture of, you know, your cat or your dog. That's what I had. Oh, I did have it, I changed it actually. But it's still there, it's my little doggy woggy back home. I miss you so much. But $50 a year for probably AI generated wallpapers is a criminal offence. Mother. I mean, I am pissed off about this guy. You know, I thought he was a good man. A man who actually had the interest in the public. You know, he reviews things. He'll tell you how it is. If he likes something, he likes it. If he doesn't like it, he'll tell you he don't like it. He's even had backlash before because he sent a, a company down under. I was like, well, if the company's shit, the company's shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna pretend. Oh yeah, this is this is the best, the best piece of tech I've ever had. Another, another grand, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's so good. It shines penises on the walls. I don't know what he reviews, but let's watch this shit. Play it, mother hubba. So it's starting off as a wallpaper app now. I don't want to overpromise too much, but it's going to be pretty consistently improving over time, which is part of the reason why we're offering a subscription to support it. So go pick it up now. Poke around, find your new favorite wallpaper, your new favorite artist, and let me know what you think. It's kind of fun to be on the other side now, on the development side where now other people are going to review. People are reviewing it. That's what they're smelling. They're smelling shit. Firstly, it's worth stating, you know, there are different versions of it, whatever, what have you. But $50 for a wallpaper app, I mean, I, you know, what do you get for the free version, you might ask? Uh, I don't know, you just get to download the app and have it on your phone. You can't see my hand a lot, actually. What about if I just... Now it looks like I'm filming porn. Oh, fuck. How does that feel? Good? But yeah, he's in deep doo-doo, bro. $50 to charge your fans. What a scamming little scammer, scammer. He's like a guy coming around to your house trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner, but without the cord. You know, oh, you went to my wallpapers. Oh, which are AI generated as well. This guy's like a tech nerd, you know what I mean? He knows all the people in the game, bro. He's going to be absolutely cheating his way. Cheating his way to the billion, dillion, jillion dollars. Like, this fool's a fool, man. Man's a fool. Panels is not a good app. It crashed UI and big bulbus. So it's shit. It's entirely plausible for a premium wallpaper to justify $50 a year panel. But panels isn't a premium app. So <laughs> they've just reviewed it and said it's dog shit, basically. There's nothing good about it. Premium apps don't ask to track you across apps. Premium apps don't make you watch ads to get to their free content. Premium apps look and feel native to their platform. Premium apps don't have sketchy privacy report cards. As it stands out, panel is shit. Now, I said shit, but I don't know what congruous means. I know what incoherent means. It's usually what I sound like when I talk. But yeah, so it's not got a great, great views. Um, it kind of sounds like they're selling you data to like, you know, Kamala Harris or whatever. But hey ho, if you don't mind doing that, you don't mind doing that. Me personally, I don't like spending money on food. You know what I mean? Like when I turn, like when I'm drinking water, I'm like, ugh. 4p a sip you know i just I, c I can't bring myself to spend 50 big ones on it on an app about wallpapers like you can get free ones on the on every, everywhere like, you know every, everywhere 
you know it's not like they're we're finding gold here. We're not looking for, you know, Jack Sparrow's golden treasure of 1912, whenever he was, you know, this is like wallpapers, wallpapers. Your disabled grandma could probably accidentally make a wallpaper. Anyway, Mark S. Brownlee, another YouTuber and another scam and another day. Nah, I'm joking. it's not really a scam. It's just a pathetic product. You know, no one's going, yeah. there's a real gap in the market for paying for wallpaper. I've never bought wallpaper. You know what I mean? Never. Never, never, bro, you know? I was just looking at that there. That's... He's so funny, though. He's like, it's so funny to be on the opposite side now. Now I'm going to get reviewed and all the reviews are dog shit. <laughs> Calm as a bitch, motherfucker. Let me know if you're going to buy it. I'm not because I don't have $50. Bye.